Hello guys, welcome to CodeGuard channel. Today we are going to talk about the props in the ReactJS and it is a basic building block of a ReactJS and this is the fourth part in the ReactJS series. So what is props? Props are the properties that we pass from one component to another component. That means if you want to pass the data from one component to another component, then props are very useful. The abbreviation of props is a properties and this video cover all fundamental skills required for the props. So we'll also go and learn some new JavaScript skill. So in our last video, we have created a two component. One is a parent component that is itself a app and another one is a welcome component which is a child component of this app. So here today we will pass the data from parent component to this child component using props and let's see. So the first step, let's pass the data for using the props. So this is a welcome component and it is a child component of this app component. So how we will pass the props or properties to the child component. Let's define some variables and you can pass the data. You can pass data anything means object, string, boolean, integer, array. So I'll just simply write this is data from props. So how we can get that data in the child component we can get this data by writing this dot props dot text so this dot props is a properties that parent component is sending and this text is a value that is variables where value is situated so let's control and say it and let's see in our browser now so look here this is a data from props that is a value we have passed from a parent component to the child component welcome so let's again see other thing also now i'll just control x here that means got it and just i'll write here that welcome to react from props so when i control and say then when i delete this one and it is perfectly showing over here this data so let's see one of the javascript new skills that it is very handy for us so every time we call like this and it is very bad practice let's see that new javascript concept i will open the browser and it is the knowledge apart from react.js it is a core javascript and i'll just open the console by right click this mouse and here i'll just type click on inspect and it will open so i need a console just i will define a brand new object like this um, name and i'll type sagar and age i'll give 22 then i'll create this object so now we can get this object by doing this also obg dot name and it will give sagar obg dot age it will got get 22 so is there any way better way to do these things and there is one syntax called a destructuring that is object destructuring and like this name age and equal to obg these variables so here these variables and we are just writing here and this name this property i am just assigning to this variable name and age so just click enter so here we have saved these two value in the variable name and age now we can just call this value by using its variable name name and age we don't have to refer obg dot name like that in our application also there is this dot props 
so it is an object so it is an object and there is a text so i'll just give you a overview over here it is like so i I'll, I'll clean it and um, it is like view there is in our application there is props and we have like text and text here this is props so here i am just having i'll pull that value text here using syntax destructuring and this is a brand new es6 feature of a javascript so i'll write here props so now we can simply call the text value by using the text variable like this we don't have to refer like this each and every time so i will also use that method over here and in the big applications of react.js and other framework like angulars and uh, vue.js we'll use this uh, syntax very often so i'll just go and declare over here const and just i'll take out the value so i, I want to say that there is a var and const and let these are all same things but um, there is a little difference uh, among them const and then after i'll write text it's called to this means that this means the context to this welcome applications so this dot props and if i just simply delete this then control save let's see in our browser so there is something happening over here so it says that welcome is not defined so welcome is not defined let's see the problems i'll just uh, close this and in line 13 it has a debugging tool so it's i'm very really hang thankful to the react developers and this line 13 there is welcome is not defined that means we have deleted the variable welcome but we are still referring this so i'll just delete it and it will fix our problems so let's control and save again we'll hit in our browser so there is uh, no welcome over here down but we are still good to see that we have used the new features of javascript so we can directly pull out the value of this dot props and uh, we can use that value over here so uh, mainly in our application later on we'll use this syntax heavily and uh, thank you there are lots to cover more about the props like default props props types once you are a little more comfortable to the basic of props i'll cover this in the upcoming tutorials so in this in the next video we'll talk about the state thank you if you like my video, please like and subscribe my channels.